Welcome back to Johnson Family Outdoors. We are not going, I was going to say we're not going fishing today, we're going racing. Exact opposite. We're going fishing, we're not going racing. Uh, speaking of racing, last week's racing at Buxton Speedway was impressive. If you haven't seen that video, there's a couple of them down there, you might want to check them out. But for now, uh, we're battling weather, the fishing's been terrible, but we're heading back to the same ditches that we go to where I've caught absolutely nothing. I, I think that's the definition of insanity where you keep doing the same thing over and over again and expect a different result well that's exactly what I'm doing uh, I know you got to be at these ditches when the bass get there and if you're not there you're going to miss them uh, that's just an excuse I'll see you down at the ditch now we got a fair bit of rain last night and today so I'm not sure well we're a little dirtier than normal but let's see what happens here Nope, let's try the other side. Looks like for getting a fair bit of rain, we do not have a lot of water. Well, let's move on. So spot number two, part of the same ditch system, and that water is clean. Look at that. So we make something bite. I hope it shows up on camera, but right in there, there's a green blob or dark blob moving on the bottom of the water. That, my guess, is a turtle. Here comes a noisy train. I guess I'll talk to y'all in a bit. I had a bite too. Be careful with this guy. I'm sure you can probably hardly hear me, but I gotta get you a picture of this because he's probably gonna break the line. That's a dogfish. He's not hooked very good either. You gotta love the trains. Alright, let's see if we can get him out of the water here without breaking the line. Well, train finally went away. See if we can get our hook back so we can keep fishing. Easy fella, I'm gonna put you back. All right, we got our hook back. He's not too bad. He's not uh, the biggest one I've caught out of here, but he's not too bad. Did I say he's not too bad? Well, that wasn't the most graceful release, but he got released.
at this point in the fishing this year I don't normally like to catch those but uh, it's been a struggle as you know so we'll take them Let's see if there's anything else underneath that bridge I actually thought that was a bass only because he did not bite hard at all My other guess is though if he's down there, the bass are not. So again, same ditch system. However, this water is a lot dirtier. I think it might be starting to try and rain on us a little bit here. I've pretty much tried everything else but fishing in the rain, so we're not going home just yet. There we go. There we go. He tucked out as soon as it hit the water. Come on. That's a nice one. Nice bass, nice bass. Here we go. Come on, buddy. Here we go. Very nice. What, two pounds? Now he is right along that shoreline. He hit it as soon as it hit the water. I'm going to have to slow that down when I edit this, but uh, the fish took off right across the bait. There he is, there he is. I saw him come and grab that. Nice. Lost my worm. All right. There you go, he's not too bad. He was hiding right over there. Problem is, lost my worm. Well, first things first, I think I need to apologize for the lack of fish. Fishing this year has not been up to par and it's not been from lack of effort. Uh, I fish pretty much, pretty much every day. Uh, different ditches here and there. Sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. Uh, this year, more often, they're not there. Does that make sense? More often? They're not there. But today we end up catching a dogfish. That's the first one this year. Uh, normally they're plentiful in these ditches and you have trouble keeping them off the line. Uh, this year it's been, a, it's been a struggle all the way around. Uh, the usual spots that I go to uh, have just not been producing. But 
we're trying to get you a couple here and there and like i said before i like to keep things real here and if i catch a few fish you get to see a few fish if i catch a ton you catch a ton uh, if i catch a ton you catch a ton man i am just full of it today ain't i anyway that's all i got for today's video um yeah it's been a struggle if you haven't already done so and you don't mind, please hit that subscribe button because we would love to have you along. We've got some other content coming as well. Uh, we have expanded our horizons, shall we say. And uh, you guys seem to love the racing content. There's plenty of that there. And I want to say thanks to Buxton Speedway because uh, I go there every week and uh, I shoot videos. But, so, with that said, you all have a safe day. I'll see you all in the next one.